What up, Toconners? We're going to talk about the data download that dropped last night on Global, and I have an announcement to make in this video, so stay tuned. This is not going to be a very long video because there's not much to discuss on the Dokkan side, but I do have an announcement, so don't go away. So we got a 200 megabyte data download last night. This is for everything that we'd expected coming up. We got the Extreme Z battle for the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, the three sub EZAs, the support memories, and the, the collection of epic battles for stages three and four, and chain battle for first form freeze. And I was a little bit surprised by these two. Kind of thought we'd be getting these in a separate data download in a few days, but they're giving it all at once. So this pretty much means they've consolidated all of their assets for the upcoming week's worth of content into one data download. So tonight we are getting four EZAs. The Super Saiyan 3 Bardock Dokkan Festival EZA is going to be dropping via an event. These three sub EZAs from the Masked Saiyan event can already be obtained right now. So as of me recording this video, even before this, you will already have been able to farm out these medals. Hopefully you guys have already done this so that you don't have to worry about it once the actual date drops. Once the time actually hits, you can then awaken those three units. Now, I recommend you guys do this, especially for the physical Super Saiyan Bardock. That unit is not only incredibly defensive, but also you can run that guy as a nice link buddy with the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock. Those two work very well together. So get them done. You can take your time with it. You can do work on it now. You can work on it later, whatever you want. This is pretty much going to be the only content that you have for the next few days, because from the 7th of March, basically the 8th when you're watching this, until the 12th or 13th, that's how much we've got just to hold on to this. There's nothing else. There's actually nothing else happening. So Collection of Epic Battles is going to be dropping on the 12th at 1130, which is basically the 13th. And then Chain Battle happens on the 13th, 1130 p.m. in my time zone, which is basically the 14th for all of you guys. And that's it. So that pretty much wraps up the Bardock celebration. Now, we do have the important date of the Dokkan Now video premiere. That could happen at any point between tonight and, you know, the whenever the chain battle happens, could happen after that. The middle of March is a very, uh, it, it, it's just a weird blob. You can't really discern what shape it's going to take. Like, what is exactly the middle of March? Do you think the middle of March is from the 10th to the 15th? The 10th to the 20th? Like, how wide or narrow do we make that window? We don't know. So we're going to have to wait and see what they do with it. As soon as we get some information on the Dokkan now, I will let you guys know. Once we get a video, I will let you guys know what's in the video. If it's something that we can live react to, I will do that. But we don't know anything right now. So we're going to have to be a little bit patient. This is going to be this is going to be the the, the the true test of discipline for some of you guys. And I think on JP as well. This is sort of that no man's land period where Global and JP both kind of go through a little bit of a lull. So this is kind of what happened last year. Last year, we come off of the rush of the New Year's celebration. Super Vegeta was eh, but with the 1718 was actually okay. Uh, then we had the Trunks. We had the Carnival, or not the Carnival, the Double Rates banner. We didn't have Sand Day. Sand Day does bring a little bit of intrigue, but as with every Sand Day, some people summon, a lot of people don't. Some people summon, some people don't. It all depends on who you are and how disciplined you are, how willing you are to save. Then we're going to have something in the middle for the Yamcha. And then we'll have Golden Week. I think once we get to Golden Week, the anticipation, the excitement will start to build back up because then we're on the home stretch. We're just one separate celebration away from the anniversary itself. Golden Week does bring some intrigue because with it, it's once again Global and JP coming back together. We also have Goku Day with the power creep the way that it is. You know, older units are getting major overhauls in terms of EZAs. So things could start to ramp up around here. So I would say probably like the second half of the Yamcha celebration, we'll start to get a little bit excited. Plus, the second half of the Yamcha celebration, we don't even know what that's going to be on Global. Could be something brand new. We don't know yet. So I think around like April, end of April is when things start to pick up. So until then, beginning of March till the beginning of April, you're going to have to hang in there, folks. About one month, things are going to get a little bit slow. I will do my best to keep you guys entertained. I'm going to try to bring in some more edited content. You guys have been wanting it. And I know I just I simply can't deliver because I just don't have the time, but I'm going to do my absolute best. I'm going to perhaps try to even bring in an editor to help with some more creative content because I miss doing it. I really do. Like the channel isn't just about Dokkan. It's also about me being able to do different things, creative things. So hopefully we can bring those back to the channel and I will keep y'all entertained while we all save and wait. Well, actually, while you guys save, I'm going to be spending and summoning. Y'all know me, but you know, during this time, I will keep y'all entertained. So other than that, uh, I mean, there, that's pretty much it. What what can you do, right? What can you do during this time? You can prepare for chain battle by farming out a bunch of Bardocks. There's a hold. Actually, you know what? Let me let me pull up the Bardock chain battle cheat sheet for you guys. We will obviously talk about this during the chain battle video itself. But one thing you guys can do in the meantime to prepare 
is to get all of your Bardock's super attacks maxed out. Now, when it comes to support lines, hidden potential matters. Link levels don't matter. The hidden potential themselves matter, which means the higher your super attack, the more hidden potential you can put into a unit. Now, if you're not able to spare a few hidden potential orbs here and there, that's totally fine. But still, if you give them more super attack, I believe that does help. So what you can do is if you're trying to set up your support line using these different Bardocks, pretty much all of them, I don't think any one of them, actually, that's not true. I think the giant form Bardocks wouldn't work. But most of the Bardocks just use the super attack boost from the free-to-play Bardock event. So this can keep you occupied. You can farm super attacks for all your different Bardocks if you have some spares. On the extreme side, every version of King Vegeta is important. The TUR, the SSR, the SR, so you can get those worked on if you want. The Vegetas can also have their super attacks farmed as long as they're not Vegeta giant form. If they're just regular Vegeta, they can also be farmed. So pretty much this entire support line is relatively free to play friendly. This will definitely make for a more consistent time. If everybody does this, the support lines will be generally better. Now, a lot of people seem to think that support lines don't help the person at all who's making it. That's not true. The more people use your support lines, the more currency you get back, which you can then use to summon for more skill orbs. After all, this whole thing is being done to bolster your skill orb collections so that you can further customize your characters. So it is in your best interest to try to make your support line as enticing as possible for people to use it. That's one thing you can do. Other than that, you can also prepare for the collection of epic battles by taking various teams that are needed for these upcoming missions. Android, Cell Saga, Target, Goku, Androids. You know, trying to run all of those on one team. See if you can do that. That's a fun challenge. Take it on to something like the Legendary Goku event because right now this event is under maintenance. I don't think you can jump in and test out the waters with the Planet Namek Saga arc. So you're going to have to try something else. Uh, another Escalation event would work. Legendary Goku event, Vegeta event works just fine. These are the support memories. Both support memories basically give permanent boosts to the super or extreme side of the Android Cell Saga category by 15%. Same exact thing as before. Nothing really new to report there. So that is pretty much it for the data download, what you guys can do to prepare in the meantime. Now, the last thing that I want to talk about is an announcement. This is a very loose, unofficial announcement, but still, I want to let you guys know, and I want to apologize because a lot of you might be curious, Tune, where the heck is your Budokai Tenkaichi 4 reaction? Folks, I am so sorry. I simply just didn't do it. Now, here's why. This doesn't make it better, but I'm just going to be honest with you. When I do reactions, they're genuine reactions. I don't fake reactions. And that's literally why I couldn't do it. Because I found out in a Discord call with my Discord server, and I couldn't really then make a video in good conscience. I could have, honestly, I really could have. And maybe I should have when it comes to like the YouTube metrics side. It was a missed opportunity. In terms of content creation, I dropped the ball very badly. But in terms of just a genuine reaction, it would not have been one. So that's why I didn't make one. But let me just tell you folks, I am ridiculously excited. You might've seen me on Twitter. I did lose my mind for a little bit. I am ultra super hyped that Budokai Tenkaichi 4 is actually in development. And that means that that game is, that franchise is coming back after like 15 years or something ridiculous. The game franchise is coming back. Folks, I will be doing content on Budokai Tenkaichi 4. How exactly it's gonna be happening, if it's going to be live content exclusively, is it going to be YouTube live content, Twitch live content? Is it going to be edited videos on YouTube? Some combination of that should be taking place. So make sure you guys are subscribed here. Make sure you guys stay in touch with me on the Twitch side as well. No matter what happens, if I do do edited content on the YouTube side, I might just do some gameplay on Twitch. So I don't really know how this is all going to be playing out just yet. I have to plan a lot of things out. Plus, there might be some Mega Man in my future, not on this channel, but on a different one. So a lot of things are going to be happening in the next couple of months. But then also in the next couple of years, because we actually don't know when this game is coming out. This game could be coming out in 2024, 2025. We have no idea. So this is still a long ways out. If you're concerned about it compromising the, the Dokkan videos, don't worry. Dokkan will always be the number one focus on the channel. But this is meant to be a Dragon Ball gaming channel. So I did have some Kakarot on this channel before. I did have some Legends before. But it will always be Dokkan first. And then there will be other games on the side. Primarily Budokai Tenkaichi 4. And then also, there could potentially be some digital Dragon Ball Super card game content, either here on a second channel or exclusively on live form content. So stay tuned for more announcements. I will let you guys know as soon as we find out more. There's like a closed beta test coming up soon. I'm going to try to see if I can jump on for that to see what this is about. I'm a Yu Gi Oh player. I've never played any other card game like Magic or. I mean, I played a little bit of Pokemon, but never played Dragon Ball Super card games. So I want to see what this is about. But this is another thing that I've been very interested in for a very long time. So these two things could be coming to the channel 
and folks for the next month or so things are going to be a little bit slow on the global side of the game so honestly it, realistically if this game had come out now this would have been the perfect time because global players could be feasting on this on this content while we wait for actual stuff to drop on global again so yeah there you go a little bit of announcement to supplement the pretty lackluster data download that we got on global prepare folks it's gonna be a little bit dry so bring some moisturizer bring some aloe you know whatever you need to stay uh never mind uh, that's it guys thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to leave a like down below let me know in the comments what do you think about the upcoming EZAs? which one are you most excited for super saiyan 3 bardock which of the sub EZAs are you most excited for uh what do you think about the upcoming collection of epic battles and chain battle are you excited for those what do you think about budokai tenkaichi 4 how excited are you do you not care are you excited for the super card game what do you think i should do on the channel in terms of content for these games let me know your thoughts about all of that in the comments down below also be sure to subscribe for more no content of the future and click the notification bell so that you'll let you know i want to see more of my stuff do it i might go live on the channel tonight to do the eza for bardock but i'm not entirely sure but if i am i'll see you then but thank you so much for watching stay tuned and always remember to dokkan responsibly